going to talk about, you mentioned integration, and you guys have put a lot of effort in integration. I mean, you made it a priority. As VMware does a what, much, much better job over the last two years getting out the APIs, particularly mm -hmm. around, around storage and, and, and backup, does that, you know, people talk about storage becoming invisible. Does that limit differentiation from a competitive standpoint, and how do you deal with that? Well, I sort of view it as, you know, I spent my first 30 years of my career right, being invisible behind the Windows and the Microsoft operating systems. And Intel happened to make a pretty good business out of innovating underneath those APIs and those, you know, those driver interfaces, et cetera. And I, I see our job very similarly right for it. And things like VAAI are tremendous demonstrations thereof. Right, you know, you could say, hey, you know, it's just virtual storage, right? It's just SRM, you know, what's going on? You know, they, they're doing all the HA and DR, right? The fact of the matter is, a lot of that is just better done in the storage infrastructure. So what do we do? Right, we find ways to enable it, right? We have APIs to do it, and then we innovate behind those APIs, and the race is on, right? And we're finding ways to be better integrated, right? We're finding ways to embrace flash, we're finding ways, right, to do, right, you know, long distance vMotion, we're finding ways to, you know, give storage transparency and virtual in those environments, you know, it, it has opened up a new plateau for innovation. And yes, if in fact we would stand still, we would just disappear behind the virtualization layer. But we're far from that. So that Intel inside metaphor, when you think about you know, the big data, and we, we had um, you know, a number of guests on yesterday talking about the, the storage as the big problem with big data. But of course it's all commodity mm -hmm. you know, devices. Can you take that? kind of mindset into the storage world and start solving those problems and, and make money. I mean, you made the Green Plum acquisition, you, you're trying a lot of different things there, mm -hmm. doing some stuff with MapBar. Um, what do you see as the opportunity there and is it, is it big enough to warrant a lot of attention? Oh yeah, we, we certainly think so. And you know, if we think about it at the highest level, right, you know, compute is now really pretty simple in a VM environment, mm -hmm. right? And I'm not trying to trivialize what Intel is doing and what the compute guys are doing, but you know, hey, it's pretty easy to, you know, vMotion around, uh, you know, a few gigabytes of VMs. And, you know, with that, we really see that, okay, it really can be moved around. But the storage infrastructure is getting bigger and heavier, right? And that sedimentation of these enormous storage environments is just becoming overwhelming. So today in my keynote, we show this ability to move the VM into the storage fabric, and that's powerful. Because now we're moving compute, which is fairly easy to move around, and moving it into the storage array for the first time. And that just changes the game entirely. And we think those types of innovations both take the storage environment and say, oh, well, you know, yes, they're storage, but they can do all these other things as well. They can do Hadoop natively. They can do analytics natively. All those things that are storage centric with these big, heavy, multi-petabyte data environments, all of a sudden become enabled with virtualization. Yeah. And that really is a game changer we, from we our heard, perspective. We, we heard